Hey, this is Chris with vidsociety.com and in this video I'm going to do a vidjack review for you. This is a product that I got my hands on several days ago and I've been messing around with it. You can see I've already created a video here and, and added some elements to it and I was really impressed with it so I thought that I would review it, share with you my opinions and thoughts about it. That way if you guys are interested, you'll have a better idea of whether you actually want to buy it or not. Now below this video there will be a link that will take you to my website. There will be full details of this product as well as the upsells and the pricing of those. And you can also find bonuses on there so if you buy Vidjack through my website you'll also get those bonuses. Alright so here we are inside of Vidjack. Now what this product does is it allows you to import, not really import, but it, it'll take the videos that you're uploading to YouTube and Vimeo and allow you to add elements on top of that video so you can then embed the video on your WordPress website or on other places and these elements will actually show up on top of the video that's being hosted on YouTube and it will allow people to click on buttons, it will allow them uh, to opt into newsletters and a lot more. Uh, so this is a really good product. Now I do want to make something clear though because uh, a lot of people may get a little bit confused about this it will not show the elements on YouTube okay so if you go to YouTube and if you have a video here playing um, on youtube.com it's not going to show these elements so how this works is like this I'm going to take the URL of one of my videos here and I'm going to go into vidjack I'm going to hit create new and I'm going to give it a title and for this one I'm just going to call YouTube video I'm going to make sure I click YouTube or if it's a if it's uh, uploaded to Vimeo I'm going to click that and then you want to paste in your URL for the video and click create. And what it's going to do is it's going to take your video. This is my video here. And it's going to allow you to add all the elements that you see over here on top of this video, which you can then get the embed code from right here. And you can put that embed code on your WordPress website or on other types of websites. And it will show everything that you add to it on the video. So this is really cool. It's a great way to really get people to interact with your video. It's a great way to generate a lot more leads and even really increase your affiliate commissions by putting buttons directly on your video. So I'm going to give you a few examples here how this works. This is your dashboard you're going to be working in. Really this is the majority of the product and so far it has worked great for me. Now when I first started using it there was a flaw in it and one of the buttons here that I used I dragged over and, it, and when I resized it and when I would preview it it wouldn't show up right. There was a problem with the coding. I contact uh, the product creator and they had it fixed within a few hours. So support seems like it is also very good. Other than that I haven't had any issues with it. So let's go through some of these. You can see here we have elements for adding text directly over top of the video, uh, any kind of an image, buttons, opt-in forms, products that people can click buttons on to buy it directly. You can add quizzes, countdown timers, you can add a reward. This is really neat. I'm going to show you that too. You can add some share buttons. You can add another video. So you could drag this over and actually have like a video within a video. Uh, you can use some kind of an embed code or you can even embed or uh, overlay a, uh, a map directly on top of your video. So if you have a local business and you want people to see your location, uh, this is a great way to do it. All right, so here we go. Let's um, Text is just very general. So we can drag it over here and you can see where I have text here. Now I can click in this box. I can edit it. I can delete it. I can duplicate it. I can move it around to wherever I want it and you have options. So for every element it gives you a lot of options. So for this one we can uh, change the text color, the background color, the start time, the end time, we can change the fonts, the sizing, uh, pretty much everything and even link it if we want to as well as the font size here which we can change to make it a lot bigger. Okay so let's get rid of that one and we can add an image. So basically this here you just drag over and it's an image so you click on this box and you can scroll down here you can choose the exact width height and corners if you if you don't want it to be square you can do that there's different transitions this option I believe is available for all of them so what you can do here for every element you add on top of your video you can choose one like bounce in and it kinda shows you a preview of what it does and it makes it much more noticeable and there's all different kinds of options here so we can do wiggle you can see how it has different effects so we'll just leave uh, leave it at that and then what you would do here is you would add uh, the URL 
for the image so if they clicked on it it would take them to that URL and then right here is where you would upload the image that you want shown here and what I love about this is you can just drag these corners to resize everything to fit it exactly where you want it so you could get really creative with this and if you uh, if you're doing a video where you're in it, you could be like on the right hand side of it or the left hand side of it pointing in the other direction and then you could you could take an image and put it here and upload that image of what you're pointing at and really make everything fit together perfect and have a great video. Uh, the button, this one here is one that I've used uh, on, on some of my videos and so what you would do is just drag it over and you can resize your button and you can leave it here the whole time if you want so down here is your timeline and your timeline uh, you can stack as many of these elements as you want you can have them displaying at the same time on your video uh, or you can have them display one after another and I'll show you how that works in this video when I get this one done I'll go ahead and leave this button here you can see we have some options for the font color, the family. We can change the font size if we want to, make it a little bit bigger. Since we're going to leave it down here the whole time, I'm not going to make it real big and distracting. So we're just going to, we'll leave it about like that. Now you can also change the background color, the layout, the corner, the width, the padding, all that stuff. Uh, transition, we can do one, we will just do the bounce in transition here. You can choose the start and ending time of it. So if you want, you can do it the full length of the video. You can see this one is seven minutes and 30 seconds. So I could come down here and put that here if I wanted to. And the other way I can do is down here on the bottom on the timeline, I can move it exactly where I want it to show up in the video. And then if I want the button to show up for a long period, I can stretch it out and make it last as long as I want to. Now, if I click on this button, and we go down to the start and end time you'll notice if I drag this you'll see that end time uh, getting longer and longer so that's really neat how everything works together so well uh, here's a here's an option just to pause the video play and then you can enter the URL here so when people click on the button that's where it's going to take them and you can change the text that displays on the button right here so we'll leave that right there for now and what I'm going to do is take this back to the beginning and move this clear back to the beginning okay now we also have subscribe so this is really neat you could even have your video set up in a way so you can mention them to opt in to receive a free gift or a free course or whatever it may be and then at that time you can have this to pop up on your video that you have embedded on your WordPress site and so what you can do over here is you can adjust the form, the layout, there's presets. I forgot to mention this. Even with the buttons, there's several presets. So you can just click them and it'll automatically adjust it for that. Or you can do your own thing and adjust the collar yourself. And then you can edit the details within the opt-in box itself. And down here at the bottom, we can move it to show up when we want it to. We'll have it show up. Uh, we'll have it show up uh, just a little bit after the button, just so you can see how all this works. And then you can drag your marker uh, throughout the video and you can see what's going on so right now we have it here um, where it's on the button and the subscribe so you can see the button down here and you can see the subscribe here and you can just click on these also if you want to edit everything so everything is very very easy to edit and adjust and then I'm not going to go through every one of these um, elements it would just take too long but if we go back here you're going to see there's also one for product if I drag it over what you can do is you can upload an image to add here and then you can change this out and add your own product title description price and they can click this button here and it'll take them to purchase it once again you have all your settings for that over here on the left hand side and then it also has an inbuilt payment uh, of payment I haven't used that yet so I can't tell you how that works but that's really neat because if we turn this on you can let me scroll down through here and okay let me click this again I hit something off there okay you can redirect to an external URL to purchase such as if you use PayPal or Warrior Plus or anything like that you can direct them straight to that offer where they can buy it or you can do inbuilt payment you can enable shipping address cash on delivery and then you enter your information here for either PayPal stripe or Paystack. and then when they click that button it works through that for them to purchase it directly through there so I thought that was really neat all right, so let me go ahead and delete that. And we have where you can add quizzes. So you can set up all this over here, your favorite set of questions. You can change that to whatever you want and enter this. And then uh, you got some more options for that. 
and then you also have timer countdowns. So this is obviously really good if you're promoting some kind of a product that has an expiration soon. You can have this to pop up maybe down on the bottom corner. And let me just make this a little bit smaller. This one here doesn't seem to be able to resize for up and down, but it just resizes uh, left and right. So you wouldn't want to leave it on your screen too long because it is pretty big. We can adjust the font size here to make it a little bit smaller. Uh, there are a few presets here you can use. And we can say, let's use this one. Oh, that actually made it a lot smaller. So we can do that. And then if we wanted to change the background color and stuff, we can do all that up here too. And then you would set your start time and end time when you wanted to show up in the video. Just move it over a little bit. And then down here, you would choose your, um, your event date and your event time. And so when that pops up on here, it's going to show you how much time they have left. Obviously, giving them a little bit of that scarcity. So hopefully, it will entice them to purchase or to do whatever you want them to do. Now, reward is really neat. So this here allows that you can tell them, for example, let me just drag it over here and show you. It says, watch this video for 15 seconds to unlock a free software. And so what they would do is they would hit click play. And then after what, whatever seconds you have added here, I'm gonna do mine for five seconds, a box will pop up with a link where they can get their reward. Let me go ahead over here. I'm gonna edit this and we'll go down to I'm just going to leave this the way it is. Unlock time. I'm going to put five seconds. And then I'll leave the collar the same. We can add an image here for when at when the five seconds is up. And so let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on this and it allows me to upload an image if I want. I can choose stock images. I can choose people. I can choose objects. I'm just going to go with stock. And we're going to type in, let's just say gift and see if I can't find something here that we can use. Let's just use, uh, I'll just use this, balloons. Click continue and it adds that and here's your reward and then you can say something like thanks for watching, here's your gift. And then you can have another image down here. Oh, actually I got this messed up. This is the background image. So let me come up here and see if there's a way to remove this image. I'm not sure if you can remove it if there's an X somewhere. Uh, we'll just leave it the way it is for now. Uh, but you're going to put your reward type in here. If it's a URL, a download, a coupon, a multi-coupon, um, in your button text, and then you can preview it. And this is what it looks like. It looks pretty neat. I guess that background's not too bad that I added there. Uh, and then after five seconds, this box would pop up. Then they can click the download button to get it. And I think that's really about all of them I'm going to go through. You can add share icons. You can add a video within a video and you can uh, resize it. So maybe you want to reference a different video, you can put that here. Or if you're taking video from another video you have, you can show that here, just, just the part of the video you want it to show. You can embed, so if you add that, your embed will show here. If you click on it, you scroll down, you just put the code in there that you want. Uh, and last, let me close this, you have your map. So this is neat too, I've never seen a feature like this in a video that you could add. And you can resize this, it looks like, uh, you can resize it a little bit and then you can move it around and see it just like a real, there we go, just like a real Google map. So that is really cool if you're wanting to give somebody directions uh, or just show something, you know, that um, maybe that you're talking about at a location. All right. So, but that's it. This is Vidjack. And from my understanding, everything that you see here, you get on the front end purchase. Uh, which was really surprising. So I was trying to find out, you know, what's the catch? There's always a reason because normally you'll get some of these as an upsell. But the way this works is that on the front end, you're limited to a total of 20 campaigns. In other words, you can create 20 different videos with elements on there. And then I think you can have a total of up to like 20,000 views a month for those videos. That's the front end offer. And then there are other upsells. The one upsell that I do suggest you get is the unlimited, and it gives you a lot more features than just the unlimited. All those details will be on my website. That link is directly below. Now, up here, I forgot to mention, uh, there's a few options up here too. You'll see integration. This is where you're gonna integrate for your autoresponder. So if you have like an opt-in form, you can come up here and click integration, and you can see where it integrates with pretty much every um, of the major autoresponding services. And so you would simply just click on the one you're doing. It integrates through like an API key for me. 
and um, it just syncs it right up to it. You choose your list and then when they opt in it goes directly to it and you have it. And then you can view it here what it looks like on desktop, tablet, and mobile. When you're done with it, what you want to do is click on save and then you want to click on embed and then here's your code and you can choose the width of the video like how wide you want it to be I recommend keeping it at 100% if you're embedding it on a WordPress site it should auto adjust itself uh, to the size of whatever your posting area is if not you'd come back in here and adjust this make it a little bit smaller uh, but this here's your embed code you would simply take this embed code and you would paste it into your WordPress site on um, under text you don't want to use the visual editor but you want to uh, click on text instead and paste it in there and you can also use this so if you don't want to post this onto a website if you don't even have a website you can use their own website and so you can take this link here and you can share this with anyone that you want to share your video with and you can see down here how the button how those two buttons popped up that I had set up there so I'll click play here's our button down here there is the opt-in form that pops up, put your name, email, download the free gift, offer expiration. Uh, it works really well. Here's the, I didn't set these up yet, but these are the, the share icons you can set up and people can just click and do all this directly on top of this video. Overall, I think this is a great product. I think it's a great investment and it seems like their support is really good too. Um, but up here at the top, you can see where you can click on campaigns. It'll take you back to the beginning where you can see your campaigns. You can edit them, preview them, share them, or you can delete them. And then over here, it also shows you your stats. So you can view the total stats of your site. You can choose the date range. And then down here, it'll show you your campaigns, which ones had the most visits and the most responses. And then also your email list here where it will keep the details of your emails also. And then you have your bonuses here. So there will be some special bonuses offered by the vendor himself. So when you log in here, you can pick those up. Now, I'm also going to be offering some of my own bonuses on top of the ones he's giving you. They're on my website. Check that out. The link's under the video. So after you purchase, you want to make sure on your thank you page that you scroll at the bottom, click the blue button, and you will get access to those also. Now, the Pro Tools, these here are part of upsells which I think you get with the one upsell I was mentioning earlier that gives you unlimited use, which comes with a text-to-speech tool and also a thumbnail creator. So you get a, a pretty good deal on that. So be sure to check out all those details. I've already made this video way too long, I think. Uh, my videos are usually about 10 minutes long. So, But I really wanted to show you guys all the features of this tool. I think it's a great tool for video marketers uh, to share their videos on their website or like I said, just using uh, the link that they give you directly and you can share it. But that's it for this VidJack review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Click that bell icon and you'll get notified when I upload new videos like this of product reviews, trainings, and tutorials. And uh, don't be afraid to like this video and leave a comment below if you have questions. So that's it for now. Thanks.